my god. Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video in which we're going to be learning about how to find the principal when solving problems with simple interest. In order to do this, we're going to be taking a look at the basic concepts of the percentage formula and how we can adapt the percentage formula into a simple interest problem. So let's begin. Okay guys, so in order to understand the concept of a, of a principal, um, I think it's very, very useful if we understand um, how banks work, right? So how simple interest is going to work. So I'm going to be linking also a video um, of me describing simple interest down below or in the card up there. So simple interest, basically, you are someone who probably gets money, right? So you get cash. And now you decide to put that money maybe on a bank right now sometimes the bank pays you for having money in the bank and they pay you they pay you in interest that interest is usual annual interest right and now they pay you back a percentage of the amount of money you put in the bank so the money you put in the bank is what we're going to be calling the principal Okay, so the principal is the sum of money that you are putting in the bank and the bank is going to put, pay you a percent of that money every single year. Okay, guys, so let's try solving a problem. In order to solve these problems, we're going to be using the percentage formula, which, as you can remember, is going to be the part is going to be equal to the percentage multiplied by the total amount. Now, when we're talking about principles, the total amount is going to be the principal. The percentage is the interest percentage or interest rate. And the part is going to be the amount of money that the bank is going to be giving you or paying to you um, each year, right? So the part is going to be called sometimes the part or is going to be called the interest. Right. So the part or the interest, we have the interest percentage and we have the principal. So, guys, let's try doing a problem. So Alan just opened a savings account that gives him three percent interest. Right. So here we have the percent interest. If he wants to make three thousand dollars in the next three years, how much money should he deposit? OK, so they are asking us. How much money should he deposit, right? So the amount of money he deposits, remember that is called the principal, right? The amount of money you put in the bank is going to be known as the principal. So now you have the percentage formula. So the percentage multiplied by the principal is going to be equal to the part. Now, the part or interest, remember guys, is the amount of money you're going to get every single year, right? When solving problems with simple interest. So, how much money does Alan get in a single year, right? So, he wants to get $3,000 in three years. But the interest is the amount of money he gets in just one year, right? So in order to do that, we know that in one year, we're going to divide by three. So if he gets $3,000 in three years and the amount of money doesn't change, which is simple interest, um, we're going to see that he will earn $1,000 per year, right? So that means that the part or the interest that he's going to win per year is a thousand dollars right and we know that the percentage is going to be three percent now we want to know the principal so how much money does alan need to deposit in the bank if the percentage of interest that the bank is giving alan is three percent and he wants a thousand dollars per year 
So the way in which we can do that is that we first are going to divide 3% by 100 because we want to know how much is 3% in decimal, so that is 0 0.03, multiplied by the principal is going to be equal to $1,000, right? Now, if we are going to divide both numbers by 0 0.03, we're going to get that the principal is going to be equal to 1,000 divided by 0 0.03. And once we do that, and we divide 1,000 divided by 0 0.03, we're going to get the amount of money that he needs to deposit. Whenever we do this division, it's going to give us that the amount of money that he needs to put in the bank is 33000 $333. Okay, guys, so this is how you find the principal. Basically, you have to identify the amount of money that, in this case, Alan makes a year. You divide that money by the amount of years. You get $1,000. And you have to change the percentage, and then you just divide. And that is how you find the principal. I hope you guys understood. Feel free to re-watch the video or re-watch the steps in order to be able to solve problems with principles in simple interest. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow OmathGod in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.